Hey, I'm Nate from Design Squad, and I'm here with Maya and Nicholas. We use magnets every day. They're in speakers, they hold our refrigerator door closed, and they're also used in metal detectors. Our mission today is to make a detector that can detect a magnetic field. I can't carry it anymore. Ooh, fuzzy. Yeah, they are iron filings. They stick to... Magnets. Magnets, exactly. Magnets have a field that they put out that can exert a force on metal objects when they're nearby. Magnets aren't the only things that make magnetic fields. In a planet or moon, when huge amounts of fluid such as molten rock circulate, it can produce a magnetic field, which is the area where a magnet's force has an effect. NASA likes to look for magnetism because they can tell a lot about what's going on inside a planet or moon by understanding its magnetic field. So to learn more about a planet or moon's magnetic field, NASA sends out spacecraft that have devices that can detect them. The devices are called magnetometers. Right now you are being a magnet field detector, or a, a magnetometer, because you're sensing the interaction of the two magnetic fields. I feel them pushing away. Try flipping over the magnet. Whoa. It's kind of funny how you can feel a force that you can't see. Yeah. We're going to use cardboard, cups, string, and metal shards to make our magnetometers. I'm going to use the cardboard to make a frame and then have the paper under it. I'm using a cup and I'm cutting out the bottom to make a window. I punch these holes so that I can put string through them and hold the detector easily. When I move the magnet, the metal moves in the cup. Oh, that's cool. And you know what else is interesting? Listen. You can hear the metal moving. If I hold it too high, you can't see as many changes, but there's still a little bit. I've hidden magnets underneath the newspaper. We put a grid down on the paper so they can point out the exact location. And this is the surface of Mars. You guys ready to search for magnetic fields on our planetary surface? Yes. Begin. I found one at B3. I found one on H8. Each eight. Nice. Where else? For instructions on how to build your own detector and for lots more activities related to NASA's missions, check out the Design Squad website.